Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 75030, Millennium Falcon Microfighter. This set includes 94 pieces and originally retailed for $9.99 when it came out back in February of 2014. Now recently LEGO did just re-release another Millennium Falcon Microfighter, which I don't own in my collection, so I thought I might as well review this. I don't own the other one that released between these two to, but I thought I'd just do this just because I had it and I rebuilt it because I just rebuilt it. So getting right into this, as you can see I don't own the original box, but I do have the original instructions, so taking a quick look at that, this is part of the first series of the Microfighters, which is pretty crazy to think that those came out back in 2014, and that it is still a ongoing sub-theme for LEGO Star Wars. From the very back we do get the Wing Kid for the time period, flip right open to a quick advertisement for lego.com slash Star Wars, as well as the Microfighters game, which I'm not sure if this still exists or not on the internet. And then we have the piece count for one page, and then the final overall model for this set. So yeah, that's all for the instructions, so let's take a look at our one minifigure of Han Solo. Taking a look at our one minifigure of Han Solo, this minifigure is not exclusive but also came within the Moss Eisley Cantina later in the summer wave for 2014. But either way, taking a look at his character, we do get some very nice leg printing leading up to the belt piece on those dark blue legs. We get the black torso piece which still has that problem with printing a lighter color on a dark surface for the main front of his shirt as well as his flesh tone which is kind of annoying. We have some tan arms to represent the shirt underneath, light flesh hands for the flesh tone one accessory being the smaller style gun. Taking a look, we also get some back printing for his character, which is pretty nice, and then the double-sided facial expression that we have been seeing up to this day for Han Solo with that more unhappy, concerned look from the front, and you can turn that right around to see a very nice happy face with an open mouth smile. Another thing to note is that we do have the regular haircut style piece right there for his minifigure compared to the new mold that we saw later on, I believe introduced in late 2015 for our minifigure of Han Solo, so yeah, that's all that I have to say for his character. Taking a look at the design of the vehicle for the Millennium Falcon, it is pretty similar to what you saw for the other two times that come after this for the Millennium Falcon Microfighter, especially when it comes to the main cockpit being this piece printed for the very front of that, which I do like getting a printed piece right there instead of a sticker, pretty nice that they did that. We also do get some flick fire missiles from the top, which is crazy to see that they're actually using those here because those did eventually get replaced with like the rapid fire missiles and the stud shooters. So all you gotta do is just flick like such. And it goes out into the distance, never to be found again. And that is such a pain for my big fingers to actually try and do that with this cheese slope there but either way let's just grab that but looking at the design from the very back we do get like the light speed right there with the translucent blue for like the engine area from the back which is pretty nice we also do get like those circular parts being represented by these one by one circular tiles inside that more silver color pretty cool to see that and also from the front right there get the little lights you get the front part right there which is also at like a more like downward slope because we have one of those hinge pieces to connect that. We also do get the radar dish. They get the sides right there, which also work very well. And then for like the main cockpit area, we do get a cheese slope in translucent clear just to represent that. And then the spot where you want to set your minifigure of Han Solo. So sitting your minifigure of Han Solo, all you got to do is sit him down and plop his hands up. So then you can just sit him in quite nice and easily like such. And there you go, you have Han Solo in his Millennium Falcon. And then finally, before I do end the video, we do get some type of landing gear going on for this vehicle if you were interested in that. So there's a quick look at the bottom and a quick look at the top with your minifigure inside and yeah that's really all that i have to say for this video so overall this set is just okay the minifigure isn't anything special we do get some better upgraded versions of han solo in the future as for the millennium falcon microfighter itself i'm not sure if they do actually improve upon the design in the future with the next two that come out after this one but still i think it's very nice to have like the original for this set and it is just really nice you do get a very nice printed piece you get some play features which aren't really anything that i'm a fan of but hey that's just because i have these big fingers but otherwise leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set also don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to know every time i upload a new video so yeah that's it for now and i will see you next time bye